Welcome to another unboxing video. This video is very much in line with the channel topic QL vs Jaguar but also covers quite a few other singular related items. Let me put the shipments on the table first. That's a shipment from Austria with a QL item. Then next is a shipment from France with another QL item. And then we have a handful of items from the United Kingdom from the Dedeshi family, from their Sinclair archives. Quite a few items. I put them in a line. Third item from Tedeshi. Fort. fifth and uh, sixth item so a little bit more than a handful of fingers and uh, the last item is uh, another item from France and it's a Jaguar related item okay let's open them up first item is from uh, Sinclair enthusiast in uh, Vienna which I know for many years and uh, normally I'm not buying uh, from other collectors but this item was something I was really missing in my collection mainly for the box not for the software okay now I told you it's a piece of software nicely packed in a small box and in an Austrian newspaper and in a plastic bag okay and what we have here is a piece of software called TechniQL a CAD package for the Sinclair QL and uh, I mainly bought it for the package art which is really nice and uh, I show you full scale in a second okay so this was really a nice cover art for a mid-1985 uh, software po package called TechniQL by uh, Talent Computer Systems and inside the box is uh, the Sinclair Microdrive cartridge with, uh, which is labeled TechniQL and also here has a label from the software house. I already own this software both as an original and uh, as the several patched copies uh, but uh, the box is quite unique and uh, makes a nice addition to my collection. Okay, I put it here and we will have a view on the whole collection at towards the end of the video. Next, this shipment from France. Need another tool. As said, it's another QL item. And it's not from a collector, it's from a user. And uh, let's see how we can open it nicely. You see the box itself during shipment on this edge got a like a hit in transportation so I hope the item is not damaged. Really hope. Okay, so I'll move the knife and uh, see what's inside.
pack not that bad. Some papers. And uh, then inside is the item. From the size, it almost looks like a QL, but it isn't. And it's much heavier, and uh, also the height of the item is uh, bigger than the QL. Put it on the table, check the box, nothing important inside. So we unwrap the item. So I already own one of those. But to have, uh, because it's a rare item, to have a second unit uh, was not a bad idea for me. And uh, they only come on eBay maybe once a year or less. And uh, it's a third party item for the Sinclair QL, which was launched uh, a few years after the QL. Uh, reached his uh, its end of life. Okay, try to present it here. Anyone? Hmm? Okay, I tell you it's a hard disk drive with a integrated power supply and it's called the QL hard disk drive by uh, Miracle Systems and uh, to connect it to the QL you use uh, this uh, ROM port connector put it in the back of the QL plug in the power and uh, fire it up and if you have an additional ROM uh, cartridge you can uh, plug it in here the item is a uh, in metal but uh, it's uh, not very heavy so for transportation or shipment uh, there's some risk that the metal bends and you see it underneath here it's not that stable so you can push and the metal bends I'm wondering if this unit is uh, operational the other I own works uh, nicely but uh, you never know uh, if the disc is uh, in good condition inside and maybe it's still formatted and has some files on it I will check uh, another day and uh, most probably will uh, the community know okay this is the second QL item I put it uh, also here in the back of the two QL items side by side now let's start with uh, the Tedeschi items. Uh, the first one, it's uh, quite lightweight for the size. And uh, let's have a look what it, what's inside. looks uh, well packed a lot of uh, bubbles and inside more bubbles and start with that one it's another QL item it's a Sinclair QL uh, brochure uh, I already own maybe 10 pieces of them but uh, there are different issues of this uh, brochure and this specific one is one from uh, January 1985 I'm not sure if you can spot it here January 85 and the uh, product code is uh, 9513 and the special thing about this is that it's in fact the second edition of the brochure and it differs mainly that uh, on those two pages in the middle on the bottom 
you see uh, QL Vision uh, display, a monitor with sign chess on it and you see four retail packages of QL software. So the first issue of this uh, brochure which was uh, presented at launch of the machine did not have any software packages here and uh, no QL Vision monitor. And the second big difference is that on this double page where on the bottom you see the QL network explained there is no longer a singular static spectrum on this uh, drawing so the, at least marketing wise Sinclair decided to uh, skip the spectrum from the QL uh, network uh, configuration okay and uh, the third difference is that on the last pages there is a uh, no possibility to hold order forms because the order forms were mainly there for uh, the launch of the machine and when it was only available by mail order from Sinclair so this is a regular retail brochure and uh, if you buy in retail stores then there's no need to order the machine there are some other minor differences between the initial version of this brochure and this second edition and the second edition is uh, much much rarer and uh, I only own about two including this one maybe three and this is the one in the best uh, physical condition because the other ones I own from the second edition have quite a few scratches so nice one put it here this comes, as said, this comes from the Sinclair archives of uh, the Tedeschi family and they most probably got it from Sinclair Research. This is another brochure or flyer from the Sinclair Project 80 Hi-Fi system. I own a piece of this Hi-Fi system, not the complete system but the quadraphonic uh, part and I thought it's a nice addition to add this uh, flyer to my Sinclair collection. So this uh, predates the computers uh, of Sinclair. It's from the time when Sinclair was uh, running the Sinclair Red Yonix Limited, mainly in the electronic hi-fi calculator watch business. But uh, compared to uh, the QL which came a few years later this uh, somehow completes uh, Sinclair history and uh, one maybe can spot some similarities between Project 80 and the QL. So if you put that here or put it that way, huh? you need quite uh, a bit of imagination but uh, there are some parallelities. Okay put that also on the table and uh, look there is something left in the box okay well wrapped inside the bubbles let's see what's inside okay get away from the bubbles and uh, what we have here inside this uh, small bag hmm? Anyone? Let's see how to open it. It's a Sinclair calculator. In fact, it's my first Sinclair calculator. You know, I grew up in the 80s and uh, calculators were uh, in the 70s when I was still a young boy. And uh, so those were before my generation but as a Sinclair enthusiast and with almost complete Sinclair computer collection I made my mind and decided to buy one or the other uh, calculator and this one is really in nice condition 
as one can see it's silver with uh, the display with the keys with the branding and uh, almost no scratches I'm not sure if it's uh, operational but uh, at least the battery bay looks that uh, not much oxidation so it looks like no batteries have been leaked inside this uh, calculator and uh, there's the chance that it still works or that at least it's fixable but that's not that important for me it's important to own a, a single calculator a nice one a handy one the size about of a first generation iPhone very nice unit put it here then there's a, another bag with uh, another Sinclair item and ta-ta let's turn it it's another Sinclair TV80 a flat screen TV I own already maybe a handful of them but this one was cheap and I mainly bought it because of uh, the the serial number and type this is a FTV1 slash C with quite a high serial number 69756 and slash T means uh, made at Timex and uh, marketed by Timex this unit was made in the post Sinclair research uh, period after the sell-off of the computer business to Amstrad Sir Clive uh, licensed Timex to manufacture and sell this flat screen TV uh, this specific uh, unit is not complete it misses the antenna but uh, the antenna holder is there and other than that it has only a few scratches but is in a quite a good condition no matter if it works it's uh, just for serial number and for a presentation maybe on a on a shelf okay now to the second shipment of uh, the Tedeschi family all those uh, shipments came from Vivian that's the do that uh, she's the daughter of a uh, late Enrico Tedeschi okay let's open this one use the scissor okay and to be careful put it on the table first and look if there's something inside nothing inside just the shipment papers so the items must be here okay well packed uh, I love this okay take care to not damage uh, the items <laughs> and guys that's really well packed huh? almost waterproof hmm? no wonder it's from the British island okay now there's a reason to pack it that well because inside there are quite a few rare or very rare Sinclair related papers okay first this is a uh, the Sinclair research product line 1985 this brochure is new to me I knew that it, ex it exists but I never had it in my hand and it's as far as I know it's the only Sinclair publication where you have 
the QL, the ZX Spectrum Plus, the flat screen TV and uh, the Wirst watch on one photograph. And inside you have a small introduction about Sinclair, then a page about the flat screen TV, a page about the ZX Spectrum Plus, a page about the QL, and a page about the, okay, it's not the Wirst watch, it's the FM Wirst watch. So it's a radio and a watch. Okay. <laughs> Guys, we're now in 2015 and the apps launched the, the Apple Watch. But there were companies with a lot of innovation before Apple and uh, in fact this is 30 years old and uh, that's a variable with uh, quite a few functions like uh, listening to radio station and uh, having uh, a watch on it. So guess what would have been possible if uh, Inventor Clive and his guys would be able to continue in a similar way as Steve Jobs did. Okay, and there's a good reason why uh, almost no one owns this uh, brochure. Because this is not a European brochure, this is the brochure from Sinclair Research Limited in the United States. One Sinclair Plaza, Nashua, in the US. So, very unique, very rare and uh, really timeless. It's 30 years old and uh, I like this black and silver Sinclair design. Black, white, silver. Gorgeous. Put it here to complete uh, the QL stuff for now. And continue with the next paper. It's uh, also Sinclair branded. And uh, the title is Electronic Products for the Constructor. And uh, introduction about Sinclair Radionics Limited, the company before Sinclair Research. And the forward look into transistor electronics. And then some Sinclair stereo audio products. and the uh, world's smallest uh, radio made by Sinclair and uh, Sinclair FM radio and uh, this brochure printed in the UK in England by Sinclair Radionics so it goes in the line of the Project 80 it's the same company Put the hard drive a little bit on the back and uh, make some space on the table. Next is a double-sided flyer. One side it's the Sinclair computers, ZX81, ZX Spectrum, ZX Spectrum with uh, interface 1 and micro drives. And on the back it's uh, the Sinclair flat screen TV. Uh, with a British passport behind the TV to uh, give a hint about the size. So put it that way in front of the TV. Then there is a original photograph of uh, Sir Clive Sinclair with a Cambridge satellite dish. One of his uh, inventions of the I think uh, late 80s, if not early 90s. This is a press photograph. I put it here. And uh, the next one is another press photograph. You see it's... You uh, can use it as a mirror and you see blue sky outside. Okay, put it that way. And you see the beauty, it's... Uh, 
a satellite dish, not the round ones from the competitors, but it's a square. And uh, I think the active point here looks very nice. It's black with uh, some red metal. And the control unit, have a look at the control unit on this picture. There were companies before Apple who were able to design uh, shiny products and Sinclair was one of them. Really look at this uh, remote. It's 80s but uh, very futuristic. And uh, there was also a reference on this photograph and maybe by the company who shot it or who reproduced it and it's printed on Fuji color paper. Then that's the flyer related to this item. You see the traditional 80s satellite dish and then you see the Sinclair Cambridge style. In fact that's not the same one but uh, I think it's in the same series. Also a square and uh, the antenna piece is a little bit different, it's round here and the receiver. I'm not sure which one uh, predates the other one. I believe that uh, the one I showed you before, that one, predates in fact this one. So I'm not even sure if both uh, reached the market or one was a prototype and the other one was the serial product. Okay, then there is a press release, ah oh, okay, from uh, Friday 21st of October 1988. It's a press release uh, issued by Cambridge Computer Limited and the title is Sir Clive Sinclair's Cambridge Computer Enters Satellite Broadcasting Market with a New Receiver for Astra press release. Okay. Then there is a, a collection of papers. Let's see how to open them. Okay. Put them on the table and go through them one by one. This is a, a label, a shipment label. In fact, with uh, it's glueable if you bend it uh, online here, and it has Sinclair logo on top and there a red square where you can write the address. Okay. Then there is another uh, press photograph of Sir Clive Sinclair with the ZX81 personal computer. At that time. Clive wasn't uh, really a sir. That uh, happened a few years later. Then this is a press photograph uh, with uh, Sir Clive and uh, most likely a Japanese guy and some other Asian guys plus uh, Nikel Searle signing some kind or so, some sort of an agreement or contract I have no reference on that, but uh, this looks really like a market agreement or a technology agreement. Then another uh, press photograph of the ZX81 personal computer. Maybe this was a mock-up, the unit, not a real working machine, but uh, who cares and who knows. And on the back one can read uh, 21 July 1981 and uh, the caption is that it's the Sinclair ZX81. Okay. <laughs> Next is another uh, press photograph of the Sinclair ZX printer. Okay. Nice photograph and uh, March 5th 1981 and uh, the caption is that it's a printer for the ZX81. Then there is a, are the ZX81 assembly instructions. I own, already own quite a few of them. Not a rare item, not unique, but this one is in a nice to very nice condition. 
and uh, okay what I see some notes on it so maybe some corrections mm -hmm. because uh, resistor 15 was not uh, labeled correctly and uh, the guy who wrote this uh, wrote the correct specification I'm not sure if they are correct at least he noted them then there is a the Sinclair ZX81 software catalog with a very nice science fiction drawing from the same artist who did the drawings for the other ZX81 publications and uh, this brochure multiple pages of uh, ZX81 softwares with uh, some screenshots and uh, some text for each program no prices for the software and towards the end of the brochure even some program listings so even if you just got this brochure it had a value you could type in this pro those programs and run it on your machine free of charge okay the price list is uh, to at the end of the brochure quite clever uh, for many reasons so kids got not uh, offended by the price and uh, easy to order on one list and uh, if there is a price change just uh, replace the uh, last page okay and here a little boy with his father or teacher and the ZX81 good times in the 80s where every boy who was into computing was able to program and have full control of his machine I wish the kids today would be able to do that okay they are able but I wish they would do then next another ZX81 software catalog that's the June 1983 edition uh, as the market and uh, the number of programs and applications grew dramatically there is just a selection of programs here and of uh, peripherals like games education and uh, business household programming languages and as said also some hardware options to uh, make some money on that side and the order form is uh, uh, a bit bigger and uh, those were only uh, programs marketed by Sinclair and uh, not even the complete lineup so it was quite a market there in fact, including the third-party programs, there were thousands of programs for the ZX81. Another uh, flyer, brochure for the machine itself, with order forms for a uh, learning lab, uh, RAM pack printer, and uh, they were quite uh, optimistic because this flyer holds three times the same order form <laughs> maybe it was given to schools or to kids and you know you had a machine and your neighbor had one so maybe this even made sense then similar to the previous one but in size A4 it's uh, another flyer brochure and uh, with a list of uh, machines two from Sinclair and then from the competition like Acorn Atom, Apple 2 Plus, Commodore PET 2001, TRS-80 Level 1, TRS-80 Level 2 with a comparison chart and in a way that uh, at least if you take the price and uh, ROM space into it 
Sinclair might made quite a good figure on that. Huh? And uh, another flyer about the lovely ZX81, the SETI. Hmm? Nice uh, package here. Not all those papers are rare or exclusive, but uh, as a complete collection it's nice. And this one is nice. This comes from Sinclair Archive. It's in fact uh, print art of uh, seven software titles. And uh, you can see the color codes on the top of this paper. And you can see the marks for cutting it. So this is really what was uh, printed and then cut and then bent into the right shape and put into a cassette tape uh, case. This is unique, this is rare. I'm almost sure this is the last one on earth. So to round up those papers this is really worth the purchase. Okay, put all those papers and photographs back into this one and uh, yeah, put them on the table, put them like that and continue with the next uh, shipment from uh, the Tedeschi Sinclair Archive. Get the scissor, maybe on the table, and uh, open it. Okay, shake it, nothing inside, then again, bubbles, need the knife. Okay, not that easy. Very good thing about when it's well packed is that the item arrives uh, safely and uh, doesn't lose its value. The bad thing is that uh, if you're impatient like uh, I am or you're shooting a video and people uh, wait at the screen and watch it, it takes uh, too much time. <laughs> okay, sorry folks. Another layer. Okay, coming close. Closer at least. Oh. You know, it's hard work. I should get paid for that. Okay, put that here and take out this one. Let's start with that. Another bag. And inside the bag it's a, some may thought of a calculator, but it's a calculator case. But it's a digital multimeter. <laughs> so it's a it's the PFM 200 Digital Frequency Meter by uh, Sinclair Electronics Limited. So this must have been a, another company by Sinclair. F from my opinion they shared some of the tooling which was used for calculators. You see and put uh, a plate on here where you can plug in the cables and set the range you want to measure. You have power on off, you have mode AB, you have the hertz to be set between uh, almost 0 to 10 uh, megahertz and then you have a uh, input for direct, common, common and attenuator. Don't know what this is. 
it was battery driven and normally it had a cover on the battery slot the rubber foam uh, already is uh, gone here it's uh, mainly only dust okay so beside the calculator this is the first uh, measurement tool made by Sinclair for my collection put it here when you shake the rubber foam comes out in the form of dust then the next case is a box labeled Sinclair Enterprise made in England by Sinclair Radionics and uh, yeah let's open it let's try to not do any mistake okay you see in fact here is a kind of a manual how you open the box and use it as a display displays uh, I mean in the retail store you could really there is some performation and you can swap it around and then you have kind of a display and put the calculator in it but oi, we will leave it like that now the calculator is gone fallen on the floor inside it are the warranty sheet the warranty there is a, a plastic bag for it and um, this melted somehow with the other plastic no wonder it's 40 years and uh, not in a bad shape for something which is 40 years old now gets, let's get the calculator itself it's the Sinclair programmable black now I have a silver and a black calculator made in England a, a connector maybe for power I think here are the batteries I don't want to damage anything because it really looks nice it almost looks uh, mint so put it back into its case and uh, place it on the table very nice three more packets from uh, Tedeschi family to go package number four seems easy to open okay what's inside I'm not sure looks like papers take care nothing left okay there's the Sinclair book of management calculations a step-by-step -step guide to the use of the electronic calculator in business a book by Christian de Liesel and uh, published by Woodhead Faulkner Limited in Cambridge and uh, the book was first published in October 1973 and second impression November 1973 so this book is uh, almost uh, 42 years old and I had uh, in the eBay auction there were some photographs of the content of this book and I was really impressed because you know this book is just for calculators but it gives you a lot of things to do with really mathematical formulas and uh, most of these formulas are uh, really need higher education not on the level of Einstein for sure but uh, if you're just a woodmaker you would most probably struggle with uh, those formulas nice book 
of what you can do with a early 1970 calculator to run your company to calculate your staff cost, your selling cost, your uh, mileage cost uh, and so on. It's really amazing to stock control, calculations in finance and accountings, calculation in purchasing and stock control, calculation in production, calculations in marketing and sales, calculations in personnel. Hmm? You can calculate how many full-time employees you need for this or that specific job. All with a low price Sinclair calculator. Nice. Okay, because the Deshi family sells uh, the items often in uh, bundles. Uh, in this bundle was a second picture of the Cambridge satellite dish. And... Uh, Another one of that we've seen before, and uh, another one of that. Maybe it even was my mistake that I bought twice the same, but uh, you know those auctions run over several months. Uh, this year, uh, between I think June and uh, August. Okay, package number five from uh, Tadeshi family. Get the scissor. Folks, I need a break, but I will not do one. But I'm happy when I'm done with the video. Okay, again, inspection of the back. Empty. Hmm. Well packed. Again, need a knife. Okay. Empty. Throw it away. Okay. This is a, a folder and in the folder is uh, labeled DECA Passion for Innovation and inside this uh, folder there is a CD with, uh, I think, videos on it because it's written MPEG format. And, uh, okay, let's look what is inside. Nothing more. Turn it. Okay, Ideas to Life, Deka, a company in Hong Kong. Who offers quite a few uh, technologic products and this company has some connection with Sinclair and I think it's mainly in the transportation area Sinclair transportation products and to me it looks like uh, Deka is an OEM uh, manufacturer because here we have the The wheel drive unit or the Zeta 3 or the SeaDo, those are Sinclair branded products. So now we know that uh, it was not purely a product made or invented in Britain. There were some Chinese people involved. Huh? Let's see what uh, what's inside. There is a a video in MPEG format about the A-bike, the bicycle, the, the foldable by uh, Clive Sinclair. And uh, about this E-bike there is a printed flyer, to me it looks like laser printed because it has a, a border. and. Uh, it's branded Deka here, so either Deka was the distributor for Hong Kong or Asia or they were involved in manufacturing. I will know one day, 
most likely after reading this press release from uh, July 2nd, 2004, issued in Singapore about Singapore launch of world's smallest and light lightest foldable bike. So maybe I told you rubbish and this was just uh, the marketing organization for uh, Singapore. I better stop because otherwise uh, things will get even worse. <laughs> okay. Last thing about that, it's uh, dear Enrico, for your info, the prototype only was shown in or on Singapore production uh, up and running, not up and running yet. Huh? Alexis still on testing. Shape, best wishes, ciao, Hélène. That's Hélène Sinclair on uh, July 18, 2005. Sinclair Research Limited Spring Gardens. So the Deca folder is about the Singapore launch and uh, what Deca does with uh, Sinclair Research product. And this is the personal note from uh, Clive Sinclair's uh, assistant secretary to uh, Enrico Tedeschi. Very unique piece of paper very personal single copy on earth good there's not only uh, things from this uh, millennium there's also things from the last millennium the Sinclair introduction to hi-fi what's the difference between stereo and hi-fi what equipment do I need and how much it will cost where do I put it can I build it myself? And what's 20 Hz to 25 kilohertz plus minus 3 dB? Five questions on a black piece of paper. Huh? Sinclair style in the 70s. And uh, everything explained in detail. Question one, question two. Question 3. Where do I put it? In the living room. Look at this 80s living room with this 80s art. I like the carpet. Joke. Can I build it myself? The, the unique thing about Sinclair Stereo and Sinclair Hi-Fi was really that you could build it yourself. And uh, at times where people were listening to uh, old radio station like uh, long waves and stuff, that was a huge improvement when you were able to listen to your songs in a frequency range from 20 hertz to 25 kilohertz. If your ears uh, were within this uh, range, nice brochure. Okay, then back to the calculators, scientific programmable operating instructions. Those are the operating instructions for uh, the programmable, which I do not own yet, but at least I own uh, the manual. Huh? A good start. Makes a nice addition to my uh, Cambridge memory. Okay. And we talked about uh, stereo and hi-fi and this is the Sinclair 74. This is a brochure, a stamp on it, prices do not include VAT. And inside is uh, the new system 4000 and the system 2000. And uh, the loudspeakers, the Q30 and the Q16, and you see at the Q30 there is a, a stamp obsolete. So they had uh, reused those flyers even after the time when those speakers were uh, end of life. <laughs> a 
if I look correctly, I can read obsolete as well. Hmm. And uh, operating instructions for Sinclair system uh, 4000, 2000, 3000 and the circuit di diagram from the system 3000 amplifier. So you see, uh, it's really a nice mixture of uh, Sinclair computing uh, stuff, Sinclair stereo, hi-fi, satellite, calculators, TVs, instruments, uh, mobility, we, uh, bicycles, and there's still one more to go. Sixth and last shipment from the Tedeschi family. Okay, video runs for 55 minutes now. Uh, most probably this will go over an hour. Depends on how well it's packed. Okay, bag is empty. Again, same type of uh, packing. Fasten things up with uh, cut a little bit deeper. Vivian, you did a great job. <laughs> you see, packed twice. Now take care here. I have a good hand of not uh, cutting too deep into the bubbles and uh, now uh, I remember what I bought this was in August some weeks ago So let's see. Okay. Put some items on the table first. That's uh, an envelope uh, with a post mark of uh, July third, uh, two thousand six, sent to Enrico Tedeschi in Brighton. And inside is uh, the UK brochure of the A-bike. Okay, so we learned Singapore was uh, first. And this is the complete uh, press launch uh, invitation for the A-bike, including the press launch and party pass for the event on July 12th in the Design Museum London and the event will start at 10.45 a.m. and uh, then the press release multiple page, page one, page two then a word about uh, Sinclair Research two pages, three pages, four pages because Sinclair and his companies have quite a history, five pages. And then about Alex, and uh, he's the chief uh, design engineer behind the A-Bike. Then uh, fast facts and stats for the A-Bike, two pages. Very unique and in a nice uh, condition. And on the other page, there is a CD called Lateral Disc with images, studio images, uh, with videos, uh, with videos about Sir Clive, with press pack PDFs, with press pack Word documents, web images, logos, and some more papers. And uh, first, there is a flyer. Sinclair has re-invited re -invited the bike by the Sunday Times. 
nice flyer brochure about the A-bike and uh, some more sheets like uh, technical overview, technical specification, the website abike.co.uk more about the website and uh, conclusion it's the perfect uh, city bike and I can use it anywhere I go okay very nice so I own the Sinclair QL press back pack of 1994 and I know this uh, QL was 1984 <laughs> and I own this uh, press pack which is uh, 22 years uh, later. Very 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 nice. Okay. More papers like uh, about the e-bike. One uh, piece of paper with uh, title e-bike not a mountain bike. I think um, they wrote it that people will not have uh, wrong expectations about the product. And then there's a folder, double page, with a quick start guide. And the uh, funny thing is right now at the company I work we are just doing quick start guide for our computers and they don't look uh, that much different. And there's the user manual for the e-bike. And even a postcard for uh, registering your e-bike. And uh, it's the warranty form. And uh, you spot the color of the e-bike. Black, red. Hmm? And uh, Vivian had also <laughs> an iPod on sale with the same colors and with uh, a circle here which looks all almost like a wheel. But it's not the A-Bike edition. This is the U2 edition of the iPod. So. In my mind I made a link because of the colors and the circle which looks like a wheel. In fact it's a wheel. And U2 is one of my favorite rock bands and Apple is one of my favorite uh, companies when it comes to uh, smart devices like smartphones or tablets nowadays. So, to go further down this line, look at this product, a Sinclair calculator from the 70, black, white, red, <laughs> and an iPod by Apple, black, red, okay, silver, you see what I mean. Okay, so this was about uh, the stuff I've got from the Tedeschi family, from their Sinclair archives. Now, last partial, last shipment received uh, some weeks ago. And it, uh, we come back to the channel topic, QL versus Jaguar. This, uh, if I'm right, I'm not that sure most likely is a Jaguar item. So let's unbox uh, this one. As I said it's from France and uh, it's a brand new item. It's uh, I purchased this from uh, Retro GC, a French association the Retro Gaming Connection Association 
and uh, Passion of Alternative and Retro Video Games. That's their current flyer. Okay, but uh, I'm pretty sure you folks would not uh, waste time on the flyer. You would uh, want to know what's inside the box, and inside the box is another world. Well, it's not really another world, it's a video game called Another World. Okay, and uh, not much to say about Another World. It's a, a video game around for more than 20 years and uh, available on many, many platforms. And this is uh, the Jaguar version of it, which was first released, I, I think, in uh, 2013, or was it 2014? It was sold out uh, at that time quite fastly, and I missed it, but I put myself on the waiting list and uh, got an email earlier on this summer that uh, it's now my turn to buy it, and here's my personal copy. I will not uh, open the box yet, because uh, my hands are wet and uh, time is running fast and I want to come to an end in, of this video. I will just put it here, and uh, I forgot to mention, have a look at the box art. You see some black, you see some red. Hmm? Those are my colors. Black, red, silver, white, in a good combination. And... Uh, okay, we come towards the end of the video. This was my unboxing, my fourth uh, video in a series of unboxing video I was doing since uh, last autumn. And... Uh, for the time coming, this will be the end of the series, and uh, I hope you liked it. You liked uh, the item, you liked the stories I was explaining about the items, and uh, maybe it gives you some inspiration of uh, what kind of investigation, of research you can do about Sinclair or uh, other companies and. Uh, what additions you add to your personal collection. Okay, folks, uh, for me it's now time to uh, leave, to close the day and uh, wish you all a good time, good autumn and uh, all the best uh, for your life. Bye. Cheers.